The next question says the minimum force required to move a block up a rough inclined plane of inclination 30 degree with the horizontal is found to be thrice the minimum force required to prevent it from sliding down the plane. What is the coefficient of friction between the plane and the block? So basically there are two cases where both the inclined plane is at 30 degree. The first case where we have the weight mg acting vertically downward which can be resolved into two components as mg cos theta and mg sin theta. The normal reaction will be on this side r and the force which is required to take it up is f like this and the friction will be acting downwards. So I can say here the force required to take it up let's call it as F1 is going to be mg sin theta plus the friction for which we can take it as the maximum value. And the second case where we will have again mg acting vertically downwards which can be resolved and we have mg cos 30 and mg sin 30. The normal reaction over here. Here the force required is to just prevent it from sliding down. So friction will act upwards because without that force F2, the friction is not sufficient enough to prevent it sliding and therefore we need that F2. So that makes F2 over here as mg sin theta minus the friction for which we will again take the maximum value. So that is the basically the difference in the two cases and as per the given condition F1 is 3 times F2. So if we substitute the value of F1 and F2 we get mg sin theta plus F max is 3 times the mg sin theta minus the 3 times f max. So if we rearrange, take this f max over here, becomes 4 f max is equal to 2 mg sin theta, which definitely cancels this 2 over here. Now f max is we know mu n or mu r, where r in both the cases is mg cos theta. So that is mu times r where R is mg cos theta that is cos 30 which is equal to mg sin 30 mg gets cancelled now 2 times mu into cos 30 is root 3 by 2 and sin 30 is half so this 2 gets cancelled and we get the value of mu as 1 by 2 root 3 and that is the final answer.